When public or private entities in a city or region that manage critical infrastructures, for example hospitals, electrical plants, or public transportation, use the internet to send important information between their headquarters and operation sites, how can they guarantee that they are not being hacked or that nobody is trying to steal the information that is transmitted? In most cases, today we send information through the internet where the security of the net relies on different methods, one of them called public key cryptography. In this method, two keys are generated. A public key that is sent to one party, and a private key that remains with the other party. The message is encrypted using the public key and opened with the private key. The security of this method relies on that the private key is secret and only the party receiving the message has access to it. The public and private keys are created using different mathematical algorithms. The most famous is based on the factorization of a large number into prime numbers and it is known as RSA. It is quick to multiply two very large numbers, but it takes a lot more time to factorize a large number into prime factors. To hack RSA and obtain the private key from the public key, we would need to be able to factorize a very large number with more than 600 digits. No algorithm or machine is known today that is able to do such a thing. It would take more than a million years of computation time to solve. What happens if there was already a secret algorithm that could break codes really fast and no one knew? Just like the Rosetta Stone, those who knew how to use it got the information. When quantum computers surpass the computational power of classical computers, they will be able to do wonderful and useful things for us, but they will also be able to break codes extremely fast, 100 million times faster than current computers. That is fast! Today, hackers could copy the encryption key and the encrypted messages that are sent over the internet without being noticed. They could store the information and decode the message when such algorithms or quantum computers are available. The information that needs to be kept secret for several years should be protected now. Quantum key distribution is an applied encryption method based also on the laws of quantum physics, which uses quantum random number generators to create a completely secure key that is used only once between two parties to share information. The key is created by encoding its random bits into photons and transmitted via current telecom fiber optics networks or even through free space. When the random key is sent through the internet, a hacker can intercept it. But when the hacker tries to retrieve the information encoded into the photons, he or she will irreversibly change their properties, because quantum states cannot be cloned or copied. Measuring the photons that compose the key could change the encoded information, and this would alert the parties that someone has intercepted the call and the key has been compromised. So, the key is discarded and a new one is generated. Having this random key and adding it bit by bit to your string of data is proven to be an ultra-secure method when transmitting sensitive data between two locations, such as banks, hospitals or government buildings, and providing long-term protection of our data even to quantum computers.